In this example, we'll consider implementing a combinational logic circuit to implement a rock, paper, scissors game. In this game, there's two players, and each player can assert whether they're going to play a rock, paper, or scissors, and each player has this controls through a set of buttons, and the goal of the device is to indicate which player won. The rules of the game indicate that rock will beat scissors, scissors will beat paper, and paper will beat rock. And the game indicates which player won by a set of lights, L1, that gets lit if player one wins, and L2, which gets lit if player two wins. If there's a tie when both players play the same rock, paper, or scissors, there's a tie light that we will illuminate in that circumstance and that's indicated by the signal T. Initially we're going to assert that each player can only press one button at a time and so we won't handle the situation where more than one button is pressed. So to implement a combinational logic circuit for this device the first step is to write a truth table indicating all of the possible input conditions that could occur. So in our truth table we'll list all possible input combinations and determine what their outputs. So for each player there's four possible inputs. The player could be pressing no buttons, the player could be pressing the scissors button, the player could be pressing the paper button, or the player could be pressing the rock button. And for each of these four combinations there's four things that player two could be doing. Player two could be pressing nothing for any of those four combinations. Player two could also be pressing the scissors button. Player two could be pressing the paper button. Or player two could be pressing the rock button. And so for each of these four combinations, we have all four combinations of player one's actions. So for each of these input combinations, we need to determine what the outputs are. So when neither player is pressing any buttons, we're not going to light up any lights. And in fact, we're only going to light up a light when both players are pressing one button. And so for all combinations where player two isn't pressing any buttons, we're not lighting up any buttons. And for all combinations where player one isn't pressing any buttons, we're not going to light up any lights. It's only when they're both pressing a button do we need to light up some lights. So in the situations where they're both pressing the same button, in this case both scissors, we want to light up the tie button. Similarly, if they're both pressing paper, we want to light up the tie button. And if they're both pressing the rock button, we're going to light up the tie button. Player one is going to win when they select rock and their opponent selects scissors. When they select scissors and their opponent selects paper, and when they select paper and their opponent selects rock. And finally, player two is going to win when they select scissors and their opponent selects paper, when they select paper and their opponent selects rock, and when they select rock and their opponent selects scissors. We can then write equations for the conditions where each of the outputs are true. So L1 is going to be true. So L1 is going to be true in these three circumstances. So when R1 is true, P1 is false, S1 is false, R2 is false, P2 is true, and S2 is false. So that's one case. The second case, when R1 is false, P1 is false, and S1 is true, R2 is false, P2 is true, and S2 is false. So that's that second case. And then our third case is when R1 is false, P1 is true, S1 is false, R2 is true, P2 is false, and S2 is false. 
So those three terms or together gives us the equation for L1. Similarly, L2 is true in the following circumstances. When R1 is false, P1 is true, S1 is false, R2 is false, P2 is false, and S2 is true, and so on and so forth. And T is true, the remaining these three conditions. So when not of R1, not of P1, but S1, and not of R2, not of P2, but S2. So these are the conditions where both players are playing the same. And so that gives us our answer.